Good Friday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for August 16th, 2013. Starting off with the GFS today, and uh, just to give you an overview of what's going on, we have a uh, high pressure sitting right over top of us today, and uh, that's going to promote sinking air and clear skies. So we're not looking at anything in the way of precipitation, very little in the way of clouds, and low humidity as we have had the last couple days. Uh, not looking at any precipitation at all this weekend either, except for in some areas uh, of South Jersey. But uh, we're going to have a little bit of a change here uh, from the uh, amount of cloud cover we've had, and I'll show you that here in a second. Low pressure here is starting to develop here down in the uh, Carolina region. This is going to be affecting the area, at least uh, you know from a uh, area of us from South Jersey. Uh, we're thinking right now for precipitation on Sunday, but. Uh, for most of the area, it remains uh, far enough off, off, offshore where we don't have to worry about any uh, precipitation. Here's the uh, look at uh, what's going to happen on Saturday here. Now, the same high pressure is going to move offshore here, and uh, you see it sitting over here. Now, with this being out here offshore, and of course low pressure being down here over the Carolinas, you're going to have uh, an onshore flow because we're sandwiched in between here. So we're going to have it, we're calling it increasing clouds on Saturday. We think it starts off uh, partly to mostly sunny, but then uh, clouds will increase throughout the day. And that's because when you have an onshore flow, you have like a, a marine layer of clouds that will start moving in across uh, eastern sections here. So we are looking for that on Saturday. And then Sunday will be uh, probably the cloudiest day of the weekend. And then the chance of showers down here along the Jersey shoreline. Let's look to the uh, European model. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Here is uh, Sunday afternoon. And at this point, uh, low pressure is sitting over the eastern part of North Carolina. And uh, high pressure is still offshore here, so it's not going to get too far up here. Uh, we're not uh, e even including any uh, chance of precipitation in these areas here, but you see what it does here in South Jersey here, uh, especially on the shore points uh, where the low pressure is moving off to the uh, northeast. As it skirts on by here, you could have some showers here Saturday, uh, Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, according to current estimates. But the rest of this area, even though it's not raining, is probably going to be under a pretty good uh, cloud cover the, most of the day. And that's because you still have that uh, onshore flow and, uh, you know, just not looking at any precipitation for most other areas. So uh, one thing I do want to point out here, as so we go in past, uh, you know, past this system, once it does move offshore here, uh, we could have a... Uh, some lingering effects here in, month, in the Monday Tuesday time frame uh, that could affect more of an area here. Here's here's showing on Tuesday where you you still have some showers over a more generalized area, but still light, nothing re really too bad. And then high pressure we think moves in after this point during the week, and we're gonna have a little bit of a warm up uh, as we get towards the end of the period here, but not nothing significant. Uh, we're looking at uh, our current and height anomalies right now, and this is what's going on right now. And why we're so cool. And that's because this see this big uh, inverted U here, U-shaped or inverted V. You have a, uh, a trough here over the eastern United States, and because of that, it's allowing the cooler air from Canada to spill down southeast, and that's why we're having the cooler temperatures. But there will be a change in that as we get towards the end of the period here. Uh, you're going to see see we have the uh, the blues are actually the the colder uh, or the lower heights, and the higher heights are going to be uh, sitting over top of us. So now. Uh, towards the end of the week, as we get to the Thursday time, uh, Thursday Friday time frame, this is going to allow a ridge to build. You can see instead of a V, you know, have uh, you know a little bit, not a big ridge, but a little bit of a ridge building here, and because of that. Uh, returns over a southwesterly flow and an increase in temperature. So if we do hit 90 this month, it's going to be uh, the end of next week. But I don't think uh, right now we're, we're forecasting close to 90, but uh, you know some areas might hit 90, especially down the Philadelphia metropolitan area. And it's really too far away to really speculate on exactly how hot it gets. But uh, right now we're thinking uh, you know return to the mid to upper 80s in some areas, especially down towards the metro areas, may get to 90 as we head towards the end of next week. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers, and this is your outlook for Friday, August 16th, 2013. Have a great day.